Today we're going to learn about a New Jersey-born artist, Lois Dodd. Lois Dodd was born in 1927, and she's still painting today. She was born in Montclair, New Jersey, and that's where she went to high school. When she decided to go to college, she found a college called Cooper Union, and that's in New York City. And she was studying textile design there from about 1945 to 1948. And after that, she spent a year doing a little painting, but mostly looking at other art in Italy. When she returned, she co-founded an artist-run space on 10th Street called Tanager Gallery. So co-founded mean that she, she was working with other artists together to do this. And a lot of famous artists would visit there. So she was part of this art scene and that really helped her develop her own style and uh, make connections there. One of the connections she made was with an artist named Alex Katz. In the summer of 1951, Alex and his wife invited Lois and her husband to Maine. This first visit to Maine was where she learned more about how to paint on pond air. That basically means to paint while being outside. She liked Maine so well that she and her husband bought a house on the coast. In her paintings, she began to capture her surroundings, both the natural and the man-made. Here you see some of the natural things that she captured. Can you find the butterfly? You see the caterpillar and the two chrysalis? Those are things that she painted from observation, that on pond air style. Here are more of Lois's paintings that she's done outside, that en plan air style. When she works, she looks for geometric shapes. So at the top left, that's a plant called sourgrass. If you look at the leaves, you can see that they have a shape to them. It almost looks like a heart shape. Also, if you look at the right side, those two white kind of blobs, they're actually spider webs over the grass. So they don't really look exactly like a photograph. She was really capturing that shape. And at the bottom left, that's called sunlight on grass. So she was really just capturing the shapes that the sun was making on the grass and then adding what looks like the grass blades, which creates some texture. I'm sure many of you have taken a dandelion when it turns into the seeds and you've made a wish on those wish flowers. So that's what's right in the middle. One of the neat things about this painting is that she's captured it at a different time of day where it's a little darker so you're not seeing um, the typical green stem. So there's some purple in here and some darker background. So it's just a neat way to do it. And remember to look for all of the geometric shapes that you can see here. There's some circles and some stars. All of those simplified shapes are really important in this Lois Dodd style. If you go to the More Resources page on my website, you can actually find an interview being done with Lois, and you can watch her paint this painting. So I wanted to show you um, what the flower looks like originally, and that's at the top left, that big purple flower, and then you can see the seed capsules in the bottom left, and then as it dries out, and she brought it inside to her studio, and then she started to paint it. So it's really neat to kind of see where it started and then what she's painting. And if you can check out the video, it's always awesome to see an artist at work. One of the art shows that Lois had was called Catching the Light. And the reason why it was called Catching the Light is because that's what she does in her work. She looks for the ways that the light interacts with the object and how it creates those geometric shapes with the shadows and with the light. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to see where the light catches you. If it's on flowers, that's great. Just look for those shapes and the light. Now Lois Dodd has not always just lived in Maine. I mentioned that she was born in New Jersey and that she went to school in New York City. Well, those are two places that she still loves. So she still lives in New York City and Maine, and she also lives in Blairstown, New Jersey. So in her paintings, you're going to see 
those places represented. She's not just a flower painter. She's actually not really famous for her flowers. She's really famous for the way that she shows those shapes and that light. So these are some of her paintings that are not close up. And you can see all those shapes and the way she catches light, but now we're backing up away from something that's really close. Remember we talked about the en plan air style. Whenever you do that, you typically work pretty quickly. Some artists would outline their ideas and then bring it back to their studio and paint it. What Lois does is she stays outside and she paints. So she paints pretty quickly. So there's not a whole lot of detail. She's really capturing the shapes and the way that the light is, and she's trying to do it before the light changes. Usually within two or three hours, a painting would be done. If you look in the top left, that's a forsythia. So that's one of those bright yellow flowered bushes. You don't see a lot of individual blooms, but you definitely get that color. The bottom left, that's snow on branches. So she was outside in the snow. I would imagine she probably wanted to wrap up that painting pretty quickly. I don't know how long I would want to be outside painting in the snow. And the other paintings are trees at the Delaware Water Gap, and that was near her house in New Jersey. Lois Dodd also painted the sky. So here we have some different ways that the sky is represented. There are five here that have the moon, and then one in the top middle is just the stars. Have you ever seen the moon during the day? That's like the top right painting. It's the blue sky with a faint white moon. And then have you ever noticed how the moon can look the moonlight can look against some clouds. That's represented here too. And that really great glow that the moon gives off. So maybe this is where you're going to find your inspiration for your art this week. Here's another one of her moon paintings, but also moving from the moon and just looking at the way that she paints the clouds. If you see, she finds those shapes and she finds the way that the colors work with those shapes at a certain time of the day. Maybe you've laid on your back and you've watched the clouds in the sky and you've seen the way that the sun outlines around them. Or maybe you've tried to find shapes in the clouds like a dog or something like a heart or something like that. You could do that for your Lois Dot inspired artwork. One theme that Lois did was windows. And you're going to see that there was different ways that she did these windows. So if we look all the way to the left, that's a window on the inside of a house with bold curtains. And you can see the entire window. If we move over one, you can see rain on a window. And you can see the curtains, but you don't see all the curtains, like where the red curtains are. And keep moving over to the right, and you can see a window at night. See the moon in the window? and you can see all those purple colors. And then if we go all the way to the right, that's actually a shadow of a window against a brick wall. So right now, you might be at home and you might be looking through your windows or through your doors, and I want you to start to notice the shapes that you see and the different times of day, the way that the light impacts your house or outside or curtains or the colors. So just start noticing those things. The way Lois frames her art is really important. So sometimes you might see the whole window. Sometimes you might see just a small part. Sometimes you might see what's on the windowsill or you're focusing more on what's outside of the window or like all the way to the right, you might be focusing on the steam on the glass panes. Here are four more artworks that Lois did involving windows. I'm sure you can see that the two on the left look more like that New York City style. You can see those buildings on the outside. The two on the right are a little different. You can see the one with the curtain. It's at an angle, so we're not looking straight on at the window. It's a little bit different. And the one all the way to the right, that's actually the way that the frost looked on one of the glass panes on a window that she was looking at. Maybe you've seen frost like that. You can notice those patterns. 
And here are two more windows. The one on the left is really neat because it's actually a self-portrait. Do you see the reflection in the window? That's Lois herself painting. So she's painting a reflection and she's keeping with that theme of the windows, but it's also a self-portrait. Maybe that's something you'd be interested in doing. And if you look on the right side, this is a painting that she did of one of a, a building at her son's property. And she's looking at the window. You can see the reflections on the window, but you're looking through this building to another window on the other side. So this is actually a painting of two windows in one. Take a look at these two Lois Dodd paintings. The one on the left is of the cows. You can kind of see that the shapes on the cows are very similar to the shapes in the clouds. There's not a lot of detail, pretty flat, a lot of shape, and a lot of catching that light. And if you look at the right, similar thing with the moose, there's not a lot of detail. We're capturing shapes and the light, keeping it simple, but you can still tell that it's a moose. So maybe you'd like to paint or draw one of your animals at home, or maybe go outside and find one. Lois lives in New York City, so she definitely has to put the Statue of Liberty in her paintings. You can see on all the way to the left, there's a painting of the Statue of Liberty at night because you can see the crescent moon up there. All the way to the right, you can see that this is a Statue of Liberty painting more during the day. And this painting is very blue. It's not quite as green. And right in the middle, kind of funny, she made the Statue of Liberty painting. Hmm. Wonder if that's representing herself a little bit, a New Yorker painting. Here's a photograph of Lois working in her studio in Maine. You can see some of the smaller paintings leaning against the walls. Those would be the panels that she brings out with her to do those quick paintings in that en plan air style. The one in front of her is going to take her a little bit more time because it's a lot larger. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Lois Dodd. It's kind of neat to learn about a New Jersey artist and an artist that's still living today. I'm really excited to see where this takes you. And I want you to enjoy and as always, stay creative.